I wanted to share how I use Google Forms to help with the management of a writer's workshop. This can definitely make your time more effective with your writer's workshops and simplify your paperwork. So here is a Google Form that I would have my students start with. Now, ideally, you're able to workshop in an area where there's quite a few computers. In high school, obviously, we'd often go to the lab because high school students want to draft on a computer, not with paper and pencil. But if you only have a few computers in the class, maybe you could have students take turns going through this. But one of the features I wanted to highlight on here is how Google Forms can take you to different pages based on what you answer. So the first question always for my students was, do you need a conference today? Do you need to meet with me? And this would go to a spreadsheet where, again, I can quickly look for those who need a conference. They would have indicated so with a yes. And I just want to show you here what happens with, let's say I say, no, I don't need a conference, and today I'm working on my outlining. So when I click continue, it takes me to kind of a status check and where I need to go in and put in basically what I've done and what I haven't done. So I'm going to go back and now I'm going to change my answer and say, you know what, instead I'm working on peer editing today. So based on the answer I give to the second question, it takes me to a relevant page. If I go and click the continue button now, I'm taken to a peer editing checklist where I can work through this. If I choose revision, I am taken to the revision checklist where I can go through. And these for, these pages of this form are intended to not only just be a progress check-in, but they guide students through parts of the writing process. So I'm essentially giving them their status check-in and the handout that I wanted to work through in one step. Now the data comes to me in this form. So when I scan through my spreadsheet, I can quickly look for anyone who says, yes, I need a conference. I can see from my students' usernames what they're working on today. I can sort my usernames using this sort at the top of the column so I can quickly scan to see if somebody's been stuck at outlining forever and ever. I can go to my do you need a conference column and see quickly who needs a conference. And all of those different areas that I've asked students to fill in on different sheets are included on the spreadsheet. So how did I accomplish that with the form? Well I'm going to go to the form menu and go to edit my form and I'll show you how this works. So here's page one, and you can see I have built-in pages, and you must have different pages for this to work on your Google form. So I created all of my questions, put them in the right order, and then I go to the add item button at the top, and that's where I put in page breaks. And that's how I separated my questions into different pages. You'll see I have the check-in page, I have an outlining and drafting page, peer editing page, a revision page, and then um, a next steps page. So the first question was, do you need a conference? The second question is where I want them to go to a different page based on what they answered. And to do that, I simply selected the edit button. And this only works for multiple choice questions, but you'll see a box next to multiple choice question type that says go to page based on answer. And if you select this, then you're given the option to change which page students go to based on what they answer. So if they said outlining, I want them to, I use this drop down menu to say, I want them to go to the outlining page drafting. I'm going to go to the outlining and drafting page, peer editing, and so on and so forth. And then you simply click, click done. Now you can only have one of these types of questions per page so that the form knows which page to take them to. And that's as easy as it is. So you can build a pretty complicated form that um, is very simple for students to work through. Obviously, I don't want every student going through all the pages of the form. So based on what they say here, it will deliver them to the appropriate activity. So there's one way you can really maximize the use of Google Forms in your classroom and make your monitoring of your writer's workshops an electronic and streamlined process.